Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging and this bag has a box in it. It sounds like a box anyway. And this parcel has come to me from DIYChews.com. I've had quite a few packages from them in the past and they asked if I would like some more products to show you. Said, yes, of course, because I've loved all the others. Hi everybody, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've just got a quick little compilation to show you. Um, this one is a PR package that I got last year from DIY Choose, and it's this gorgeous little frog. Look at him. Uh, yeah, I just thought you'd like to see him completed. Uh, please don't ask me why it's taken me uh, so long to show him. Um, I found a box of completed special drill items and I'm not sure whether I did them for this January's Smashing the Specials or I did them for last year's Smashing the Specials. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> I've only just found them and thought, oh heck, I better do a quick review on them. So yeah, this is our little frog rocker look on its little plastic stand. So yeah, it just literally all slots together. I did do an unboxing on him. I will try and find the link and put it below. And then he just stands in his little rocker there and he just rocks away he's like a little desk rocker so yeah he's just a little bit of fun to put on your desk and he is now going to go on my desk he does need sealing though so i will need to get him sealed and as i say he came in a pr package from diy choose and he was a five dollars and 89 cents i will double check but i'm sure they are still available on the website and there's quite a few of these little rockers as well if you don't want him to rock you can actually just put him the other way up so that it's a solid base and just stand him so he doesn't have to rock he doesn't have to drive you mad rocking he can just be a little frog on a stand whoops <laughs> And he's just jumped off his stand. Wee! <laughs> okay, we had lots of drills left over. It was all crystals and special drills. So we've got pink and blue. Look how many we've got left over. And this lovely amber and green and another green and red and another green there. Some sparkly silver. And then our special drills, those round lemons, which were just his little cheeks and a lovely orangey colour and a red so they were all the special drills all the crystals and then the special shapes we had the blue teardrops and, and little marquees with the uh, iridescent greeny purpley coating on so yeah i've got three to put away in my special drills uh, one to put away in my silvers and then these will all go into my generic crystals and get color matched when i get time so thank you a huge thank you diy choose uh, for sending me him um i have eventually shown him <laughs> He has appeared. They do only come out at certain times of the year, don't they, frogs? They have to uh, turn from frog spawn into frogs. So, yeah, he's taken a while to come out, this one. <laughs> okay, thanks for stopping by. So let's get into it and have a look and see what we got. Uh, as always, there are a lot of special offers on the website at the moment. So if you pop across to DIY Choose, oh look, that looks like a big diamond painting. Uh, there is 11% off any uh, order over the value of 80 pence, which I'm thinking is probably a dollar. I think that's why it's sort of a strange amount for us in the UK, 80 pence. Uh, but I mean, that's easy to spend, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, there is free shipping on any orders over $39. So yay! Go and check out that free shipping. As I always say, uh, this the special offers are uh, available at the time I'm making this video. If you're watching the video later on in the year, then they may have changed. But they usually do have some really good offers on. So always go and check and oh looks like this is the box oh and it's got diamonds on it as well yay and then what else did we get oh we got a dinky little doodad yes i do my like my little projects so let's have a look at this one first put my tape measure out of the way there if i say wherever i put my tape measure it's there it's there liz <laughs> Okay, so this is one of those gorgeous little bookmarks, look. And yeah, they've got all sorts of new ones coming out now, which look absolutely wonderful. And this is a paw print. I hope somebody brings a Scotty dog one out. They've got to bring a Scotty dog one out. Yay. Can you tell I'm killing time while I'm trying to find where to open this packet? 
Okay, so we have a leaky bookmark. I think these are fantastic. They're like a page saver, bookmark. Uh, yeah, just anything that... Uh, you're wanting to sort of save and be able to access easily um let me find a book let me find a book. so if you're filling out your books and uh, you come across you know you sort of you're filling out your books and putting all your projects and everything in and then you want to just mark your page that you're on then you can just pop your little bookmark in your corner and then it's easy just to come back to it again so that's where i'm up to or if you're making a youtube video like this and you've got a product product that you want to now do a review on and you've got all your details in your book then you can pop that on your little corner and then you can get to it again easily just say oh look yay and they're brilliant for decoration but you could use them for anything really you know if you're wanting to put uh, them on the wall you could actually use them as like little uh, holders couldn't you just use a little command strip or something pop that on the wall they're like little pockets little shelves just to put little things in and that's fitted a uh, pen boat and wax there and uh, just your drills as well look they'll just fit in and if you put them sort of triangular that way they're like little pockets and you could get a set of them all the way along the wall just to put little bits in now there's an idea i didn't think of that last time that i got one so yeah excellent idea like that okay so yeah this is a little paw print look and it's in lovely sky blue but look look guess why i got it it's a hot pink we've got like a brownie colour for the edges so the little paw edges the little skinny bits on the uh, paw print and then the paw print look it's like a heart shape and all the little pads and yeah it's hot pink so i had to get that one i just said liz i'm hot pink you've just got to have me so what could i say it would have been rude not to so yeah let's have a quick measure of this one they are 10 centimeters which is four inches and yeah 10 centimeters four inches so yeah they're great very versatile so you can either put them at the top put them at the bottom but i quite like that idea do you know i think i might get a few because i'm always you know when you're doing things and you pick up sort of like you've dropped something on the floor say like a, a multi-placer or something and you just want somewhere to put something until you can sort it out into a different box this would be so handy or even putting your diamond painting pens in let me just see whoops we grab a diamond painting pen yeah look at that you get a hot pink oh did i know hot pink do you know my fingers just automatically went to my stand and i've got all different colors in that stand of pens and it just went to the hot pink one <sighs> just drawn to it like a magnet what can i say <laughs> so that is really pretty and just two colors quick little project to do they're quite nice if you like say having a child's party or something and you don't know what to do or it's a wet rainy day if you've got a few of these for the children to complete uh yeah and then they get to take something home that they've completed as well great idea and that is only two pounds and 88 pence so not out of the way prices either it's like a pleather on the front you know like a faux leather and then it's got a lovely soft backing on it it's a bit like you know when you used to get those like plasticky type table covers table protectors and you had like the soft backing on it it's a little bit like that i always do try and describe it as something that you might have had but if you need any more details always just drop me a little message in the bottom and i'll see what i can do it's a shame there isn't like feely tv <laughs> so you could actually see it <laughs> oh it's probably a good job you can't right okay what shall we look at next let's have a look at the box looks like it's got a little bit squished in the post but that's okay that's what boxes are for they're for presentation but they're also for protection and as long as it's done its job to keep the uh, item inside nice and in one piece and secure then that's fine i do like this box though look at all those diamonds do you know my little brain's thinking i might just have to cut some of those diamonds out and keep them <gasps> as if i haven't got enough okay so this one is oh how gorgeous is that i just had to get it uh yeah along with the paw print this one just said liz this is just so you you have to get it and it's a gorgeous little giraffe Yay! whoops <laughs> it was a bit of a rush to get out there so we have our basic toolkit pen boat and wax 
we have our gorgeous ooh, all crystals and then yeah look at it oh look at that look at that little face and it's a nice smiley giraffe with long eyelashes and all those different colors and i just thought yeah i think this is a baby because it's not quite such a long neck is it it's a baby one. Oh, I love giraffes they're just such an unusual looking animal and they're so big i don't know if you've ever seen one in real life as it were uh but yeah when we've been to like wildlife parks and things um and we're lucky here um sort of in east yorkshire that uh, just across the border in south yorkshire there is uh, yorkshire wildlife park and they have some giraffes and you just stand there and you look up and you think goodness mate i mean i'm not even as tall as one of the legs you know they are just huge but they're so graceful and elegant the way they move and you know i just think my long legs and i'm always tripping over things and they've got four great big long legs and they just glide so pretty so elegant and the babies are just so cute so yeah it's one of these where it's a nice wooden stand so it's like the plywood looks like we've got three layers all uh, see if i can get that off screen yeah it looks like we've got three layers all compressed together so it's a nice thickness probably about um half an inch ish maybe let me just have a look at about have, have, have i measured one of these before i'm not quite sure let me have a look we'll start there no it's just under quarter of an inch so it's about two about four four five-ish millimetres so about half a centimetre but I just think the colours and everything on that and then you've just got your little stand there and then your little stand to pop it in so yeah just like a lot of the uh, other items that I've had that are these lovely wooden characters that just go in the little stands and I just thought oh I've got to get the giraffe yeah I'm not sure that the tails go up though I think the tails are more down aren't they i'm not quite sure i've seen one with a waggy tail like a dog but yeah so once it's all done i would suggest sealing if you're going to be handling it a lot um you don't have to seal things but i tend to find i like to seal it because we've got our little wolf millie moo our little scotty dog and uh, we're the best one in the world you get dog fare about and uh, things so yeah let's give it all a quick measure then i think it's a fairly standard size base so we'll measure the base first let's have a look and it's in this nice black color so a nice neutral color and it's four and three quarter inches which is 12 centimeters by six centimeters which is between two and a quarter and two and a half inches so yeah it's a good size and again it's a nice thickness three layers all together and then our little giraffe our giraffe is uh, nine and a quarter inches which is 23 and a half centimeters and let's have a look widest point ears to ears i think is about just over six inches which is about 15 and a half centimeters so yeah they're a good chunky size and i mean if you do seal it they're quite nice for children to handle and to play with i know i would have played with it you know i would have probably had uh, my little 12 inch dolls or my little six inch dolls and sitting them on the back and riding along but yeah i just had one of those imaginations <laughs> but oh he's very very cute and sweet yeah we like our giraffe so he is only five colors as well so a quite quick project to do so we've got like the brownie color there We've got like a honey colour and a lemony colour and then that's like a very pale peachy goldy colour and then that's like an orangey red colour. So quite a, a sort of a very nice little colour palette all to uh, mix in together but enough colours to give it that little bit of shading and depth as well. So that's going to be really fun to do. It looks like the lemony yellow colour is going to be the main background and then all the others are like the shading and the eyes and uh, and all the spots and everything on it, all the markings on it. So, oh, that's gorgeous. We like that one. And the price of that one at the moment is £5.36 on the website. Okay, and then we have a diamond painting. And I saw these and I just thought, oh, I'm going to have to get that. 
I know I say that all the time. I just love them. I've definitely got an extensive collection of diamond paintings. But I do enjoy collecting as much as I do the diamond painting. Because I do take them out and look at them. Do take your diamond paintings out every now and again and just have a flick through. And think, oh, I really like that and I really like that. Because there's just not enough hours in a day to do every single one. Although I wish there was. <laughs> Who needs sleep? So this, there's quite a few of these coming out. Um, this is sort of a Harry Potter-ish type painting. And it's all mugs of hot chocolate. So, yeah, for the four different houses. Okay. Ooh, oh, oh, it's in the little bags. Right, so we've got pen, butt and wax. I thought for one moment it was going to be uh, already kitted up. But, yeah, it's in these small bags. Now, as, I, as I've said before, there is absolutely nothing wrong with the drills in the small bags. It is just that uh, if you're a little bit lazy like me, they do take uh, that little bit longer to kit up because you've got to open all of the little packets. But they are still the same drills. And uh, yeah, it's just how they're manufactured. I have listed in the past uh, some of the videos um, of the factories that actually do all the different diamond painting, the packing and everything. And it's fascinating how the machine puts all the little drills into these little packets of 200 and then as they're going along to make up a kit they just count out how many uh, little packets of drills for each colour they want and put them in and then go along to the next one and it's fascinating if you get a chance go and have a look on uh, youtube and uh, just see if you can find those videos i uh, just uh, i like factory videos and they just fascinate me right so we'll give this a bit of a flatten it's got a little bit squished but once it's been uh, under something heavy it will soon flatten out okay you'll have to forgive me because i am not a huge harry potter type fan uh, i'm not uh, hugely up on anything uh, wizardy so i'm not quite sure what they all are and um, i've only just recently seen all the films to be fair uh, i did read the book and i think because i enjoyed the book so much i then didn't really watch the films quite so much because I, I, it might be just me but I always, I usually find that books are just a little bit more detail and a little bit more to the imagination uh, but yeah so we've got uh, a green one I'm not quite sure what they are there that looks like uh, the little golden snitch type thing we've got some books here uh, that could be a train there I think and then we've got a little owl there, that's sweet, got a little owl. So we've got plenty of books, so we've lots of studying to do. So while you're doing your studying, you can have your cup of hot chocolate. There is quite a few of different ones of these, uh, but this is the one that I thought was quite good. And uh, I have a little granddaughter that's quite into uh, wizards and things at the moment. So yeah, I thought she would probably quite like this one. And uh, I am quite into just doing backgrounds first. I do like the ones where you just get the plain colour background so you can sit and just do all the background and get the main part out of the way and then just start with your colours and just it's like colouring in then because you're just literally putting all the different colours on and I love it when you get to the last couple and it's like when you've done a jigsaw and you're just putting the last piece in you're just putting your last diamonds on and uh, yeah I just like doing it that way at the moment rather than sectioning them off I am enjoying doing paintings where there's a big background and I can do all the background and then just basically it's like colouring in the middle, just putting the dr drills on the middle. Right, let's have a quick look at these colours then. So we have 23 colours, they are round. Uh, looks like we're all nice clear key code with capital letters. So that will be quite easy-ish to do. Uh, let me have a look. Looks like it's a reasonably clear drill field. That looks a little bit blurry to me, but that could be my eyes. Actually, in the camera, it looks pretty good, so I think it probably is my eyes. <laughs> uh, I must start bringing my magnifying glass up with me so I can look at things, but I think that one's a little bit blurry. I think the W's are a little bit blurry. Oh, well, maybe not. No, it's definitely my eyes, isn't it? Because they look okay in the camera. So, yeah, but I do use uh, a magnifying light. Because, uh, you know, my eyesight, it's not the best. Right, let me get into these. Okay, so these little packets are packets of 200 drills. 
so yeah i'm not going to go through every single one singly let's just see how many background packets we've got see if we can count these so it's 3865 for background which i do like because i find that there's two sort of white colors that are main ones on diamond paintings um and the b5200 or 5200 is a very bright white uh, whereas the 3865 is sort of a winter white and off-white colour and it's not quite so stark so I do prefer this one uh, depending on what you're doing I mean depending on your painting but if it's like for a background I do find sometimes that a bright white is just that a little bit too bright so one two three four five <laughs> Thirty-four packs of two hundred. Wow. Okay, so there is a lot of white drills there, but this is quite a big painting. It's fifty by thirty. Sorry, I didn't say that, did I? I just got carried away looking at the hot chocolate, thinking I could just have one of those. It's coming a bit cooler today. So. Yeah. <laughs> so thirty-four two hundred. So what's that? Six thousand eight hundred? Is it drills? Wow, that is a lot of drills. Okay. And then we've got our brownie colours, chestnutty brown and stony brown and mocha and sort of a peachy brownie colour there. Okay, that looks like oops, a very dark brown. This is our work to wholly go through these, but yeah, we've got a lemony colour there and a little bit of sunnier yellow and a bright orange and then we've got a, a little bit more muted orange and a little bit of a rosy pink and a cherry red and a deeper red there so we've got some nice pops of colour on this there are some little drills escaping though i'm just hoping some of these packets are open let me have a look have we just got some escapees I'll have we got an open packet. No, I can't see an open packet. Oh, it might be there, look. Oh, I think we might have an open packet. Okay. Right, let me just grab a little bag. Another reason to just quickly check your uh, drills over when you receive your diamond paintings, just in case you do have a little packet that's open. Yeah, they've been a bit vigorous when they've opened these, haven't they? And uh, yeah, there's just... A few escapees and you know what they're like if they can get out these little drills they will and they end up everywhere in the toilet in the dog bowl goodness in the bed <laughs> yeah if you've been diamond painting for a while you'll probably find that you've had drills escape and appear all over the house and uh, yeah that just seems to happen so i'm going to put that one in with it as well so, oops, it doesn't want to go in. Look, they're fighting back now. They don't want to go in. Have I got any more loose ones? Let me have a look. No, that was just the few. That's fine. It's just as they've uh, pulled the packet, it's just got a little hole in. Oh, look, I've just said, is there any more? Close the bag up and one's just appeared. And you, it is a magic style diamond painting, isn't it? So let's have a look. So are these uh, open anywhere? Can't see that they are. Might be one of the other colours I've already put in. So I'm just going to gather those little critters up and put them in there. And uh, right, so I've got that like peachy colour there. I'm trying to pick up this look thinking it's a blue one and it's not, it's the pattern. <laughs> I'm not safe to be let out. So we've got a denim blue and like an indigo blue. Okay, and then the pale blue with a few escapees. And then we've got that... Uh, Caramel chocolate colour, a grey, another green, a sort of sagey green, and a lovely rosy pink. Okay, so yeah, out of packaging, I do find that these are probably my least favourite, but that is literally because you've got to sit and open all the little packets. Uh, but as I said, there's nothing matter with the drills. Look, there's another one escaped there as well. They're just going to be. Uh, Appearing from nowhere as if by magic. As if by magic the drill appeared. <laughs> oh, look, there's another one over there. Do you know, uh, right, 
I'm not looking anymore. If any more appear, I don't want to know. Right, let's just have a quick measure because as I say, it is a slightly different size, this one, at a, a 50 by 30. So it is a, ooh, we're about a 43 centimetres, which is 16 and three quarter inches. By, so it's got quite a big border, this one by nine inches which is 23 centimeters okay oh, look the toolkit's coming now i tell you the strange things going on in this craft room today so yeah but i think that's a lovely picture and it sort of like covers a lot of bases as well you know you could possibly have it in a bedroom but you could have it in your living room or your kitchen as well because it is your hot chocolates so yeah i do think that's possibly a train can i see or is it a cauldron? It might be a cauldron. We'll have to wait and see when we get it done and see what it turns out to be. Okay, so we've had our lovely little wizarding picture there with our little owl. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure I'd want an owl on my uh, hot chocolate. But it's maybe one of those sticks, you know, with a little toy owl in, uh, like a straw or something. And you've just got a little stick, just a little decoration. And we've had our lovely little giraffe. Look at him. How cute is he? Just so sweet. And our gorgeous little bookmark, which I've now decided I might start using as little pockets. Little uh, hanging things on the wall to put little things in. Mm, lots of uses for lots of things. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. Huge thank you to DIY Choose for sending me them. Love them all. If you have enjoyed looking at them with me, then as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and see what we'll get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! <laughs> okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.